Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain Caleb. I'm going to return. Welcome to the next episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. I still don't see the hook. I don't see the bait. Let's continue on. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. <laughs> the whole... The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be able to spend every day at the school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to go closer to one of these girls. All right, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances. And I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that will start with writing a poem tonight. We might have found the hook! It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. See, this is a problem. They put the little sister or the, or, or the younger type in the same thing with the Sundra, which I know sometimes mixes well together. But why do I always feel myself gravitating towards them since I, I find myself more pissed off and irritated with them? Maybe it's because I'm a sick freak. <laughs> We're going for the Sundar, guys! Yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness. I have to pick words? <laughs> Hop, ribbon, parfait, sugar, explode, anger. Anger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would she hate? Uh, what would she like? She likes cute things, right? Pink. Marriage? What? Pure. Oh, it's so cute! Mmm. Candy! Ah. Uh, anime! <laughs> Nibble? She like nipple? Uh... Happiness. Oh, of course she would. Kiss? Kiss! <laughs> Doki Doki. Which, basically Doki Doki is... I guess this is the middle shirt. Yep. Should've known. Lollipop! Kitty! <laughs> Bunny! Fluffy! Swimsuit! Giggle! <laughs> Milk! Wrath! She likes angry shit! Mm. Cheeks! <laughs> and graveyard! <laughs> What kind of poem am I writing? <laughs> Hi again, Caribou. Glad to see you didn't run away up on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry about it. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. At least I'm back at the well. I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Car Caribou. I hope this isn't too overwhelming for a com of a commitment for to you or for you. Ha ha ha. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. I just walked into the room. I just walked into the room. Why are you being so hateful? Sayori told me he didn't even want to join the any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan just to come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. I'm trying to be... WHY DO I LIKE YOU?! Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Ha! Ah. Mm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops back into her seat. Hell yeah. 
Don't worry, guys. Caribou always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room? Why am I in your room? How dependable. Sayori, is that's because your room is messy. It's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Why? How come? You and Caribou can become good friends, too. Sayori. Hmm. <laughs> As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought yourself, brought you something today, you know. Wait, Sayori. Uh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll be make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make any make a big deal if you don't want if you don't want it to be. Damn! Dyslexia sucks. Alright. Well here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. How cute! It's a short read, so it shouldn't it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Y Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read it. I enthusiastically take the book. Whew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled it in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rum rummaging around in the closet. Ugh! I hear Natsuki utter an exasperating sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in, in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Freaking Monica! She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is going to mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga? You read manga, right? Uh... Sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure it out where the other person stands. You're too, you're too weird about it. How did you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I see. There's a lot, there's a low, a lone volume of manga. Amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. You can see my face struggling. That is so sad. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a book of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better! Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait Girls? It's a series I've never heard of. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. 
If you're gonna judge, you can go do it through the glass on that door. She points into she points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging or anything. I didn't even say anything. It was a tone in your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Caribou. Considering this is a lesson straight from the literature club, don't judge a book by its cover. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hand. Ah! I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, strikingly animated fem feminine poses. It's exceedingly moey. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Why did I do that? Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a, a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Okay, I'm starting to I'm, I'm starting to like it. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Uh, why is that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Don't just say that! What? It's true! You'll make me feel weird about it. Great. Natsuki crosses her arms, scooches an inch away from me. Of course he will. Sorry! Didn't expect... <laughs> exactly expect to be sitting these, this close to her either. <laughs> Girl! Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space she, while she hopes I won't notice. Oops. The clown is out! I can feel I feel her peering over my shoulder much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm. You don't go back and flip through the, old, the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? <laughs> Freaking dogs. <laughs> I'll power through it! Uh, I am, but not. Nothing's really happened yet, so I can't talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typically slice of life affair. I like slice of life, by the way. They're pleasant. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare of the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the... What's wrong with you, guy? They're so... They're so nice! So, what should I expect from this? Is it going to be plot? Well, obviously, you think I would enjoy something that didn't have plot? I mean, well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like, there's always, there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. But that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, they're all kind of drama. There's all kinds of drama! Like when they get into all their backstories and when some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it so good. There are so many touching parts. Ah, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> Ooh, hey, wait! What's that supposed to mean? Click. Ah! <laughs> Natsuki gets me a little shove. I just meant that I haven't seen you at your full power. The fuck does that mean? Hmm. Good save. How? <laughs> uh, this chapter seems like it's about baking. Oh, I like baking. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well... Natsuki pauses for a moment and if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah... Why does it matter? It doesn't, I was just curious. It's because you like baking, weirdo. Man, I would really be bad... 
Am I secretly a Zundra? No, 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 I'm not, I'm no. We're gonna forget that I mentioned this and you're gonna cut this out, right, Caleb? Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's just a coincidence. Jesus, I'm so bad. I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got this manga. Like I would ever get into anything because it's in a manga. I feel bad for anyone that's that impressionable. <laughs> Definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, of all hobbies to pick up from a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. It is. Not to mention she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? Whoa! What the hell are we in? Whoa! We read on, the f we read on for a few more moments. And then they made her look very much younger than I thought she was. What the hell? How old are we? Is this some Catch a Predator shit? I finished a couple chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just re watching me read. Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so, I guess it's fun sharing something with you like this. So, sh something you like with someone else. Haha. <laughs> I guess I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm. You don't. Um. That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Okay, is my character that dense? Obviously, she doesn't have friends. She's friendless. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. Okay, well then, that's always that too. There's that too. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, ah, You still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. Why is this so nice? What, what? You know what? You know what I can appreciate about this game that most of these games don't have? A well-developed plot that's nice and simple. I kind of like it. I think they finally hooked me. I think they may have hooked me. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I have I gravitor, gravitated toward the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? <laughs> I mean, well, like, I, I can't even keep, keep it in my own room. What the hell? I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? This is really well devoted. I, 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 I like it. I like the fact that they, they did this well. I'm just curious about the age. What the hell? How old is this chick? So... <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Suddenly Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> I totally forgot that happens. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favorite character. You always feel a little bad for her because she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish this chapter. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a st stark con contrast to her usual bossy tone. 
But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can't understand why. It's hard to express in words that the feeling you get when you're connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki for whom it's a rare experience. The thought makes me smile a little to myself. That is very cute. Okay, everyone. Uh, are you all ready for today's poems? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, come on. Could your timing be any worse? Sorry. I just need to make sure we have enough time. Though you do look pretty cozy over there. <laughs> uh. Ah! Uh, Natsuki suddenly knows how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a, a good 12 inches away from me. Uh, Alright. Guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Uh, yeah, but... Martha just said... Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Cute. Uh, is that really all right? I say that mostly because I really didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course. It would take forever to finish it if you didn't take it at home. Just finish that one before tomorrow, and we can start the next one. And if it gets if it gets bent, I'll kill you. Yes. <laughs> I had to delete something, sorry. <laughs> this is reminding me a lot of a certain someone. By tomorrow, I only got part way throughout through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I if I try to get through this. Just do it, man! What the hell? But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more sacred of what will happen if I don't finish it? Scared. Sacred. What the hell? Alright then. I stand up! I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write the poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Mon Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is on one wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote, wrote hers in a composition book. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I see sit. Natsuki and Yuri, Yuri, oh my god, what's wrong with me, reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. <laughs> How long have we done this episode? <laughs> this music. Alright, well, looks like we're going further and further down the deep hole of d despair. Let's go with Natsuki. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poem yesterday. poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um, Natsuki rereads my poem. N never mind, I don't really feel like giving you my opinion. Uh, then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh, uh, in fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Uh, well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, HA! Well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So in other words, you're saying you liked it. Uh! <laughs> Pretty much. Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Uh, you're so... You just don't understand anything, do you? I love messing with Sundaras. I 
I already told you that you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss if she likes my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? <sighs> Fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Egos can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try. That's about it. That's kind of bad. <laughs> Egos can fly, monkeys can climb, <laughs> crickets can leap, <laughs> horses can race, <laughs> owls can... Am, am I allowed to be mean to her? Click outside poem area to continue. Yeah, I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. I didn't have the option to be mean to her. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't ever take my writing seriously. But isn't that the point of poems for expressing, for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I, I like when it's easy to read, but it's hard, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. You know what? I would really like to continue doing games like this because it's helping me mentally be able to work out my dyslexia. And it's also pretty fun. This is, this is actually a fun experience. It helps me bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. Decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Aw. Okay, we have three more people to show the poem to. It's 27 minutes in. I gotta make another part. I'm sorry. I gotta. I gotta cut it. I need. I gotta delete it. I gotta cut this next part. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoy, make sure to support your boy. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe, like, and and show your boy some love in the comment section. Other than that, I will see you in the next one. Peace off.